where every time I try to make a video, I feel like somebody and their brother or cousin is mowing their damn lawn. It's like, oh no, it might rain this weekend in Santa Fe. That means we can't all wake up ridiculously early and mow our lawns first thing Saturday morning. So we need to make sure that we get our lawns mowed right now before a wet Texas weekend, y'all. I swear. All right, this is a better spot. I think it's a little less loud from the mower, but the mosquitoes are fierce. Oh my God. Last time I was over here in this area, there was a big old snake that I didn't even see because I don't pay attention to that stuff and clearly I should. But I heard all the Blue Jays going crazy and I was like, oh my gosh, those little birds, the Blue Jays are stealing baby eggs. I need to go protect them, right? Wasn't a Blue Jay stealing other little bird eggs. There was a big ass snake on the tree hanging out and I'm just sitting over here, it's a bird, leave that bird alone. And then Jeff comes over here and he's like, there's a big old snake on the tree. What are you doing? I didn't die, obviously. So you're probably wondering what this video is about because um, it's kind of random. It's out of my scheduled video wheelhouse. But I decided that I think it'd be a really fun idea to bring back Daily Dose of Doll and do just kind of sporadic random videos on different topics or situations that are going on. Um, I think people react really well to those and I think as a creator one of the things I struggle with is I always feel this pressure that I'm supposed to put on these big productions, these big thought out videos with all this editing and why not just do something more real <laughs> that fits my schedule, that fits what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, what I want to say um, and that's just kind of more relatable. So this will be the first rant of bringing back the daily dose of doll segment where we just basically talk about whatever we want because who runs the world doll fam so I thought the welcome back episode of daily dose of doll where we've kind of always just talked about the nitty-gritty of everything um, we've talked about whether or not it makes you an asshole if you don't want children it doesn't um, we've talked about whether or not women actually need to wear bras. We don't. And we've talked about some other random things. I don't know what, you can find the videos on my channel. Um, I'll link them below, I guess. That's what, you, that's what you do here. But this beginning episode, we're going to be talking about dick pics and the visual assault they carry. Dick pics has always been something that I've always really been open to, but I've like talking and sharing about. Um, I think most women on social media are pretty open <laughs> with sharing their experiences getting unsolicited dick pics from random dudes on the internet. Um, and I know there's a lot of people who are annoyed by it, just, just ignore them, just block them. But I think that, I can, I can only speak from um, a woman's perspective of course, but I think when you get nudes sent to you by a stranger over the internet that you don't know it's just too shocking not to share. It's it's one of those things, like as a human being, you're so shocked by it and you're so just dumbfounded by the audacity and the, just the nature of some people. And it's one of those things as a human being, you have to like bring to other human beings and be like, look, look at this, look how crazy this is. Look at what this person did. Oh my God, can you believe this? Look, look how tiny it is. You know, like it's one of those things that you have to share. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong about this. I'm definitely one of those types that screenshots, you know, unsolicited dick pic messages to post to, to, to always discuss. And I think one of my biggest things is I always personally try to find out what provokes the unsolicited dick pic. I can't help but ask the dudes that send um, them to me questions. I'm always like, so, you got a minute? Now that I've been visually assaulted and you've introduced us 
can I ask you some like personal questions about like, why you think this is okay? Can we just talk about this? Can we level with each other? You know, I wanna know. Um, but I mean, for the most part, the guys who send unsolicited dick pics are all the same. You either get the guy who um, doesn't speak English at all and you don't know what he's saying and he just keeps saying like, baby and bobs and vagine. Or you get the guy who like doesn't say anything, he just sends the dick. <laughs> like it's just, boom, I'm just send the photo. That's my opener, that's my welcome message, that's my hey, how are you, that's my introduction, just some penis. Like, you know, um, most of them look like just, it's horrible, it's not fun. Then you have the guy who thinks he's God's gift to the world and he's gracing you with some sort of like masterpiece <laughs> that he's captured, um, you know, laying across his leg or I don't know. They're never good photographs, you know what I mean? Never once have I felt like the guy who sends me the dick pic ever really cared enough about me to even really put thought into the dick pic itself. Why doesn't more thought go into the dick pic? Like, this is your representation. This is how, this is your mating call to me. This is you being like, hey girl, hey. This is what you give me? Like, how much effort was put into this? Is this, like, some guys' dick pics look like they cared so little. It's like somebody who buys one of those, like, pre-made gift baskets on the side of the road for somebody on an occasion the day of because they never went and got that person a gift. So they just last minute are like, here's this gift bag wrapped in a trash bag with a pink bow around it. Like, can you not take some time to prepare the setting of your dick pics? I don't know, I guess um, my other complaint would be that you know, not only if you're not going to properly pose and light your photographs of thine cock and balls. I mean, could you at least not, could you say hi first? <laughs> like, could you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm John and here is a photograph of my John. You know something? They never introduce themselves. It's just like dick. And then when you're like, no thank you, all of a sudden, you're a whore. I don't understand that. It literally makes no sense. You're sending me nude photographs of your downstairs mix-up without me asking, <laughs> without me going, hey, let me see what, what you're working with down there. You're literally just randomly sending me a picture of yourself nude in a sexual manner. And then when I'm like, oh, no thank you, I'm gonna pass. You're like, whore, slut, bitch. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what mindset? What mindset is that? I just really don't get it. I don't understand what the long game is here. It doesn't make any sense. There is no long game. There's, when there's literally memes and groups and videos and parody songs dedicated to making fun of guys who send dick pics and there's still guys out there that have the internet, they have it, it's not like they're just under a rock and they're still out there doing that. Like, how are you not embarrassed to be put into that category? It doesn't make any sense, like, it, it's not, girl's panties are not just gonna fall to the floor and she's just gonna magically appear in front of you on your desk to be devoured. <laughs> That's not what a dick pic is gonna do for you. All a dick pic can ensure you is two things. First of all, you're not gonna score. <laughs> not in the way you want to, no. Secondly, the only thing that it's going to get you is screenshot and then mocked and made fun of later. Like, you're gonna be put on display. Do you not want better for yourself? 
And there's gonna be people out there that are like, Emily, that's not nice. You should just block and delete them and you should not get involved. That's not, I. you know what? They revoked that right when they visually assaulted me. Like, that's a crime now. You can't do this. It's not okay. Stop doing it. And then don't, if you're gonna do it, don't get mad at me when I start asking you thought provoking questions like, did you or did you not consider a top hat and bow tie combo before setting up your photo? Because the next one, you should. It might make it more appealing. <laughs> Long story short, unsolicited dick pics are not okay. Don't send them. I've even had girls send me unsolicited vagina pictures or titty pictures and most people would be like, well, why don't you just, I didn't ask for them, I don't want them. You need to reevaluate where you're at in your life if you think that you can just send those out to people. It's not cool. I don't think people who send that stuff out necessarily are bad people. I just think they don't think. I really don't. I'm sure there's a lot of them that really are 100% predators in negative ways, but I really think that most of them are just people who need to get a freaking clue. They're just that stupid. And I'm sorry for you. There's so much more out there and you should strive to be better than a screenshot that some girl is gonna share with her friends and laugh at later. Like, don't make that choice. Just say hi. So that about wraps up this newly introing episode of Daily Dose of Dolph. Um, so tell me what you think. You got a funny story about an unsolicited dick or vagine picture? Share it in the comments below. I think, um, you know, swapping unsolicited private part stories could be therapeutic for all of us. Get a little weight off our shoulders or not weight considering some of the size photos that I receive. <laughs> but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel where you can watch a lot of different shenanigans and um, I'll see you next time. This is Emily Dahl, your friendly neighborhood pinup doll, signing out. Hopefully there's no dick pics waiting for me.